Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning to the build. I got some parts laid out here. I'm getting ready to uh, to install the uh, the balance shaft together with the pump onto the block. And that's I think that's pretty much like uh, what's left on onto the block. Balance shaft. And the torque for the bolt for the retainer is 168. Those retainer, which is uh, 14 uh, pounds a foot, but in inches it will be 168. And since I'm using, uh, I got this thing set up here, so 168. Sixty one sixty eight. It has this flat side on both sides. One on top, well, it'll be one in the bottom. One one eighty degree apart. So the oil pump, the gear for the oil pump will line up with that. But make sure that uh, you get pre aligned the gear on the oil pump before you insert it in. This is the uh, flat side I'm talking about right here. Right there. And so it's 180 right there. That's the one. And that's the one that uh, aligned to the uh, to the crank. So I have to put the seal, uh, the o-ring, the seal on that one. And also one here. Okay. People forget to put those o-rings and Sometimes it will affect your uh, oil pressure also, but I have to uh, put a new one, new seal on this one. Let me do that. Probably you can, I can still use this, but uh, being internal, uh, keep it maybe. I'll keep it. Maybe I'll use it some uh, sometime. Just make sure everything's clean. So now, for the maintenance manual instructions, they want you to put some sealant on here. Liquid sealant. Not much, just make sure everything is all no grease. That way, the sealant will stick. Again, same thing. Just make sure that the uh, no no uh, damage on the flange. And we'll just put some a little bit of uh, sealant on there. Then as far as the sealant is concerned, it's nice to use a Honda Bund, oh yeah, but I found something that's uh, almost similar to it, this thing. If you smear some, some on the o-rings, that's fine, it's not going to go anywhere. Put this on. Then we have put the pump. Okay. 
then I'm just gonna secure the pump with some bolt and instructions is to uh, put a little bit of a sealant on there so not very much just you know to cover that thread I guess Those small little bolts, the six by ten, nine uh, foot pounds. I still have to put a seal on there. Hopefully, I won't forget. So now. This one here. That one goes in. It has an alignment. There's a lug, like a double pin. So it has to uh, has to line up. And this one here, it's on the side. I'm gonna get a screwdriver and I'm gonna put it in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but, uh, but there's a bolt here, 14. You just have to rotate till, till everything so now it's time for this and I got the screwdriver still on there so when you put this on this has an align uh, aligning marks also it has to be put on in, in, a, in a certain location this groove right here that has to align here right there right by my finger and then this line will be aligned up the right about here like so again there's two groove on there it's the last one right there it has to be like that and of course it's not gonna go in exactly how it is because it, it's a spline so it's either try it you, you're gonna have to, to try this mul multiple tries either misalign it first like maybe a tooth or so and then as it goes in it will well I'll show you I'm gonna try to put it off just a little and see what happened right there I think it's in yeah let me see. Let's give it a smack. All right, right there. Yes. All right, you guys see it right here with my uh, scribe right there, and then that has to be facing down. There's also a, more like an alignment. It's right here. Yeah, it's right there. This one. Right by my scribe. Right there. And then this slit right here, this line. It's almost lined up to that. This line. And down here. Putting the rest of the, uh, the bolts. Already put some sealant on there, and hopefully it's not dry yet.
and the nut. And this one also requires some torque. It's uh, 18, uh, 18 pounds, uh, 18 uh, pounds a foot. So the nut will be the same thing. So I'm still, I'm still set up here for 18. Okay, take it off, rotate it, see if I can line this up, if I put it on it should go in, where's the damn thing? side is backwards yeah. okay right there it takes some uh, remember that the shaft and this gear it turns so you have to either rotate it one turn will be a two turns for the uh, the shaft and you line back that there, and then there's the line. Cool. Make sure to put some lube on there. And see if I can press it. Uh... There is a mod on here uh, like a, a little plate and I forgot all about it but I'm gonna look for it and I'm gonna put it on I don't want that uh, there's a tendency a service bulletin actually from Honda that they start putting those uh, like a little steel plate it's just to keep the uh, the seal in place and you saw me when I put it on, I was rotating the shaft. I, I did that because sometimes uh, you would you would fold the uh, the seal inside and causing it to leak. It happened to me before, which is on the camshaft. So after that, from that point on, I started uh, just rotate the, the, uh, the assembly whenever I'm putting something. I'm gonna put one in. On the um, crank, don't need that anymore. Well, I'm gonna leave this bolt loose because I'll be needing it when I put the the belt. Same thing. So I put it on my hand. Put some seal. Some seal. I mean, <laughs> some assembly loop. Uh, I can rotate this thing. Hopefully, I still have enough storage on, on my camera. Okay, found one. This is it. So you just go over, go over it. It's supposed to hold the the seal if it ever walk out. 
That way you don't you don't lose any uh, oil. Okay, and that's a hundred and and. One oh eight still. Now I'm going to torque this to eighteen. Twenty two. I'm just going to hold it with a screwdriver. Okay. Just to put everything all together. The last thing is uh, put the oil pickup. I got the gasket on here. And make sure everything is all clean. No debris. And put all this bad boy. And the torque would be 102, 106, I'm sorry. Okay. 106 or 108? Either or. Got it on six. Yeah, on six. Try not to uh, over this one because you give the snap your uh, your stud and you're gonna end up uh, removing the, uh, the stud from the pump. So for those guys that don't have a torque wrench, just be, be careful working out. And that's just about it. I got the rear seal put on right there. Ready for the pan. I'm not gonna uh, fully bolt this on because, like I said, I'm gonna put a, a, a drain port. I don't know exactly where it's gonna be. Well, that's just about it for the build. Next up will be, uh, I'll be showing you the uh, the water pump. That will be next. And I think that's just about it about uh, for this uh, lower block. Thanks again for uh, tuning in. I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.